tech tips? Yeah. Is that is it is it rolling? Yeah. Are people looking at me? Yeah. <laughs> What's up guys? Um Hi, Mark with our Soft Extreme here. I'm one of the lead techs, and today we will be showing you guys how to install a high kappa hop up unit into your high kappa. Um, so, this is the uh, Maple Leaf uh, brass high kappa unit. If you can see that, can you see it? Yeah. 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 Um, very standard. This actually does not come with the uh, hop up adjustment wheel, so we will be having to use uh, whatever's in, in this. Awesome looking high kappa. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever is in this high kappa as um, as the actual hop up adjustment wheel for this. So I'll show you guys how to do that. Um, this also comes with the Maple Leaf I key in it as well, and I will be showing you guys how to install that and what that does as well. So um, let's just head up straight into it. Um, don't need much for this specific kind of installation. Uh, all I have is a Torx uh, driver set, and I'm pretty much just going to be using one Torx bit out of here uh, which will be just one of my kind of mid mid sized Phillips heads just enough for me to uh, get into the hop-up unit and take that apart um, you know that being aside I'll, I'll leave that aside so we have a room here uh, <clears throat> I like working with high cap is especially something that looks nice like this on just kind of any sort of like cloth uh, this helps me kind of catch you know, very, the very small screws, I don't need anything huge. Uh, you usually see me working on a rubber mat. Um, what happens with the rubber mats is a lot of, uh, you know, as you're working on it, a lot of particles actually get caught on the rubber mat, and you'll you'll have a lot of metal shavings on there as well. That could actually mar up the finish on a lot of the guns you're working, especially if you're working on something like this. I don't really want to mar it up. So I just have, like, this kind of cloth that um, I have cleaned up. It's kind of stained with oil for the years, but, I mean, I, I do laundry these on a, on a frequent, so... We're just going to be working on that. Uh, let's get started by taking this out of the box and or out of the packaging, and let's see what we have. Um, Russian, if you have any questions, you can you can also go ahead and ask. Or you know, if anybody has questions, if you're on a Facebook um, watching, you guys can also ask away as well. I can answer any of you guys' questions right away. <clears throat> So this is what actually comes in the packaging. You have your Maple Leaf press hop-up unit. You have the steel hop-up tensioning arm, and you also have the I key, which acts as your secondary tensioner. Um, looks like we also get an, uh, another O-ring for the um, tension adjuster. We already have one O-ring there installed for us by Maple Leaf, so that's good. Uh, um, so yeah, so we'll we'll get into the gun now. Um, first thing, always check if your gun's unloaded. Um, you do that with the real stuff. We do that with the airsoft stuff, just to, you know, just just in case. Um, so obviously there's nothing in there. It's empty. Uh, let's go ahead and take out this, uh, take this high cap apart. Very easy to do to split this upper and lower. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, <clears throat> I'm gonna do this so you guys can see. Hopefully, not too hard for me. What you're gonna do is you're gonna pull the slide back, and you're gonna see two notches here. So the first notch is where the slide lock will slide out of. So you have to kind of get that arc right there over the back end of that slide lock. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah. And then you're just going to go ahead and from the other side, um, it should be recessed on a high kappa and you should be able to push that. So from the other side, just grab your finger and just push that out. Once you push that out, you should be able to grab it and just yank it out of there. Then your whole slide should come off, right off. <clears throat> Now, um, what you do need to take apart next is your spring guide and recoil system. Uh, the easiest way to do that is, um, you know, um, just grab from the guide plug here. I see there's kind of like a little divot right here for me to get my fingernail and just kind of grab that in. If there's not any divot in there, um, what I like to do is I'll actually get a flat head and just push through there to help me kind of get started on pulling that out. But what you have to do is yank that out and depress that spring and once you depress that spring you should be able to pull the rest of it out right there um, careful with that shooting away from you because that's a really strong spring and it could go pretty far and you don't want to lose anything there so we'll just keep that there <clears throat> next your um, barrel and your hop-up unit need to come out um, what you have to make sure is you make sure that the uh, guide on your barrel is lined up with your hop-up unit 
so that you can pull it just straight out of your, your gun. See how it kind of hops off like that? You don't want that, so just pull it straight off. You gotta make sure they're aligned, and then just yank it through your slide. Pull it the slide right here. <clears throat> Lastly, uh, this is, I believe, a UAC hop, uh, barrel yeah. set. Yeah, this is, so this is a UAC barrel set, so all you're gonna have to do is um, just kind of wiggle your hop-up out of there. You see where this part of the hop-up unit kind of catches on the barrel. All you're gonna do is wiggle that off to the side and just yank it off. Um, what's nice about this, it actually has a, a beveled edge right here to assist you in taking or installation and in installing and removing your hop-up unit. Um, other barrels don't have that. Uh, Gunsmith Brothers doesn't have that, and um, I believe, I'm not sure if Airsoft Masterpiece has that or you, or uh, anyone else, but um, that actually helps. Without that without that uh, bevel there, it might be a little bit hard. Um, you just gotta kind of work its way out there, because once it gets on, usually it's meant to stay in there. Alrighty, so now we'll put this barrel aside, <clears throat> and we'll get straight into the hop-up unit. So, this is your standard Tokyo Marine hop-up unit, or I believe it's the Armory Works oh, one? No. Yeah, so this Armorer Works hop-up unit, um, hence you have the uh, red hop-up tension adjuster right here on the bottom. So what this tension adjuster does is it moves this hop-up arm up or down here, which I'm seeing now is actually a different uh, style than the Tokyo Marie, so... Yeah, the only reason I have that is because I broke the Tokyo Marie, and that's the only thing I can get my hands on it. Yeah. So, uh, well, this is this is actually pretty standard. This is, I, I believe, this is the same one as the WE, or what WE is putting in their guns nowadays. And this is um, an aftermarket barrel as well. In a yeah, barrel? it's a okay. six so. Okay. Um, so right now, um, very simple. You have two screws that kind of hold the two bodies together. This is kind of a, uh, a clamshell kind of design of a hop-up unit. Um, so what we just need to do to get kind of everything apart to where we need to, or where we need it. Because pretty much what we we'll, what we only need from here is the um, the tensioner again, the tension adjuster, and the barrel and the bucking that's on the inside. So we just need to take this apart. Um, you have your two screws here. All you got to do is take both of them off. I see this has been Loctited. Yep. Let me actually grab my Loctite in a second. Loctite is very, very useful, especially in gas blowback guns where parts are moving because parts do like to jump out. So give me a second and let me grab my lot of Loctite. <clears throat> so here's my bottle of blue Loctite thread locker. I'll show you guys um, how this goes on and what it does later on, but I'll just have that here so I don't have to get it later. Um, Alright, so now that those two screws are apart, we could just pull this clamshell off and reveals all the internal workings of the pop-up unit. So the only thing we need from here is the bucking, of course, and the barrel. And we're also going to need the tension adjuster over here. Um, so we're just going to pull the steel arm, which is this is a tensioner. We're going to take that off and we're going to pull the barrel out. kind of leave that aside here. We don't need any of that right now. Two screws, I'm going to move that away as well. All right, so now what you're going to do, especially if your bucking is dry, um, you're going to want to lubricate it around it a little bit. Um, this still has some around it because I believe this was a fresh install of that hop-up unit. So we're just kind of going to make do with what we have on here. But you would, um, optimally, you would want to put some lubrication around that. And you could just use like a 30 weight or... Um, you know, like a really thick viscosity of uh, silicone lube or Teflon lube oil. Um, anything to just kind of make a seal around your hop-up unit and your uh, your bucking over there so you don't have air coming going around the barrel. You want all the air to go inside the barrel and through, you know, behind the BB and stuff like that. Um, then we have this tension adjuster. So this is actually what controls your levels of a hop-up um, in, in your pistol. If you don't have that, then, you know, there's actually no reason for you to have a hop-up unit in the first place. So this is one of the most important pieces. Um, if you break that, Maple Leaf does make, uh, I believe, a brass version of that as well. Um, this is the plastic version by uh, Armory Works, or WE, I think. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take apart the uh, Maple Leaf hop-up unit. 
and we're going to install everything back in. So first we're going to have that apart. Um, what I like to do first is kind of get the barrel in there. Uh, there's only one way this can go in. Uh, of course, because there's only one way the bucking can be installed in the barrel. So you have, I don't know if you guys can see that, you have this little nub jutting out on the side of the hop-up unit. That is going to go into this little divot here in the hop-up unit and it's going to sit there. You also have these two cuts in the sides of the, of the barrel as well that'll, that'll sit right here and right here in the hop-up unit. That way um, it keeps it from moving around as you're shooting. Alrighty, now that that's in there, we're going to go ahead and install what's called the I-Key um, <clears throat> by Maple Leaf. Um, now what the I-Key does is, let me show you guys here the, the standard, um, I don't know if you guys can really see that. This is the standard tensioner. Um, so what happens is this goes up or down on the bucking and puts tension on the, um, the bucking that's putting you know, the backspin on the BB. And you can see here that it only has about two points of contact. So you have the left or the right and you have this side. So um, you have all that extra kind of nothing there in the middle um, <clears throat> that can leave, you know, that can lead you to inconsistent shots or whatnot. Uh, Maple Leaf devised a tool called the I key that fits in that standard hole. I don't know if you can see that there now, what it's doing. So instead of just that two points of connection, you actually have a little arc over here that provides a one solid point of connection between the tensioner, the bucking, and the BB. So it gives you more consistent shots as you're turning your hop up on and off. Um, of course, it's going to add a little bit more hop up than usual. So you're going to have to, I mean, if you install this um, aftermarket or you just buy the iKey because the iKey is sold separately, um, you will have to kind of adjust your hop up again or go to a heavier BB weight sometimes um, just because of the more aggressive hop up that that's going to give you. So now that that's installed, we're just going to go ahead and uh, leave that there on the side. And we're going to put in this hop-up tensioner. Um, there's only one way, again, this can go in. You want this nub facing you. There's a little nub right here. And you also want this channel facing you. This, this channel is what moves the uh, hop-up tension arm up or down. Uh, there's a little O-ring over here that helps you kind of adjust really solidly and doesn't let this kind of wiggle back and forth as you're shooting. So you want to make sure this just goes over that little O-ring in here. Just like that. And now we're going to install the uh, tension arm and the I-key. And let's see if I can get that in there in one go. Sometimes trying to get the I key on there because the I key doesn't want to stay in place is a little tricky. But uh, I believe I have it in, and there it goes. That's that's what it's going to look like from the aerial view, just like that. All right. So now that we got that in there, um, you just want to test and make sure that the arm does move up and down. I do that by moving the tension arm and the. Uh, and the tension adjuster up or down. It looks like it is moving. So now we can go ahead to finishing off by installing this last plate. There you go. You want to make sure that arm does get in there straight because it can get in crooked sometimes. Where this is a steel arm, um, so you don't have to really be that careful with it, but you could still bend it if you're doing it the wrong way. Now all we're going to do is clamshell back on and we're gonna make sure everything kind of is tied and clicks into place so let me see she doesn't seem like she's going in on the barrel right here let me see where that is like we should be all good now alrighty so the last thing you're gonna want to do and this is completely optional 
but it's really, really helpful down the line. Um, when you're shooting a gas blowback gun, um, and you have very, very well machined screws that you know easily go in and out, um, like this hop up set. Um, what happens is during the recoil and the process of the gun blowing back and forth, back and forth, the screws can actually be knocked loose, knocked loose, and then um, they can start actually spinning out of place and eventually pop out of your gun and you know cause this um, you know screw to fall in somewhere, lock something up, or totally just totally just break your gun. Um, so what we have is um, Loctite, and this is pretty much a standard kind of thread locking, almost glue type of um, liquid. Uh, pretty much what you do is you apply just a very small amount to your screw, and you'll just screw it in, and over time, um, this takes about 48 hours to cure fully. Over time, what happens is it, it, get, it gets thicker as the screw's in there, and it kind of just holds it in place, unless you want to take it out. Um, Blue thread lo I use blue thread locker because it's easily broken um, with, with just some wrist power and like a good screwdriver. Um, they make different kinds of it. There's a red one that you can like it's pretty much pretty much glue and you're not going to get that off unless you put the stuff in the oven or something. Um, so what, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take some of this blue Loctite and apply a very very small amount to this screw. You know, by small amount, that's that's what I'm talking. So that's about, you know, a third of the screw. And then we're just going to go ahead and install that in there. Same with the uh, same with the other screw. I like to kind of tighten them simultaneously so you're going to see me go back and forth between one or the other to make sure it tightens down on the body evenly um, and there's no gaps. I'm not sure if he knows how to work in clocks but uh, he does. This guy does. Yeah, clocks are pretty much, I mean, all the hop, especially hop-up units, um, once you've seen one hop-up unit like in this combination you, you've seen them all and and uh, they're very easy to do so if you need any work uh ivan for your clock you can come here to uh, aex uh, in torrance and he will work on your gun yeah so there you go so that's the hop up it's finally completed um all that's left now is to put it back in the gun slide back in. This hopper probably fits a lot better than the maple leaf one you had up there. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> what kind of, uh, what kind of slide is this? You don't remember? <laughs> You're going to have to, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, put, uh, put the hop up in first and then the barrel. Yeah. We'll probably do it like that. We'll probably do something separate. This is a cheater way, guys. That's what happens when you have out there market uh, <laughs> a slice. Uh. Yeah, sometimes stuff just doesn't want to fit properly. And, um, I mean, that's just the nature of it. Alrighty, so now that we have that in there, let's go ahead and uh, fill this in here. So to put your spring guide back in, all you're going to have to do is, I kind of depress it like, um, you know, injecting someone with the what's it, the flu vaccine or something like that. And all you're gonna do is slip that front end of your guide rod in there and you're gonna, just gonna push this spring in down and it should all slide into place. Hey Alex, uh, after this, it's gonna stay in my Facebook so you can watch it again. We can do that again, brother, sorry. Ah, uh, did you miss it? Yeah. Oh man. Uh, but so, it's gonna stay in my Facebook and it just, uh, you can replay it again. Yeah. All right, um, so the last thing you're gonna have to make sure is you see how this kind of, this barrel kind of wobbles around it. That's the other barrel wobbling. Um, you wanna make sure that this and this, let me show you. You wanna make sure that this and this part of the outer barrel line up so that you can slide it onto your, uh, your frame. 
if it doesn't line up, you're going to have a hard time sliding it in. You're going to be like, nothing's fitting. I hate my life. Why does Santa Claus hate me? That's a tight fit on the uh, on the hop up unit. Let's see here. So this is another case of aftermarket parts not wanting to work with each other. I guess the bottom part of that hop up unit is just a little bit too thick, just giving me some trouble. There we go. Everything's on there. All right. So the last step is to put your um, slide lock back in just to lock your slide in. So again, we're going to pull that arc right over here at this opening. And we're just going to pressure fit this right in. You see this little nub over here? That's why you need that arc to be in that area or else that, that ain't going to go in. And there we go. Russian's, um, you know, gold infinity high kappa with the brand new maple leaf hop up unit in there. Alrighty, um, if you guys have any further questions, feel free to ask on um, Russian's Facebook or Instagram, and we'll be happy to answer you guys as well. Yeah. Thank uh, you. I'll come to AEX. Or you, can, or you guys can come over here. We're always bored. I'm eating pizza right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, very simple. It took about, you know, a couple minutes. So. Actually, 21 minutes. Yeah. 21? <laughs> yeah, well, that's because stuff doesn't want to fit. <laughs> but, yeah, guys, so if you guys need any... The work, uh, just be sure to check out the uh, airsoft stream in Torrance. Uh, he's always working in my guns, he does a pretty good job. Uh, so be sure to check it out. Uh, Alex, after I uh, finish this, you can replay it and you can look at the whole thing again. And it's also in my YouTube channel, so be cool. Alrighty, All thank right. you guys. See you guys next time.